Hi guys, Hannah here, and um, today we're going to make a cool Easter wreath for your door. So I've laid out the materials here that you're going to need. I've got a hole punch, a pencil, scissors, glue, string, some card, coloured papers, and some pens to decorate with. We're going to start by making our wreath base out of card. I'm going to draw around a plate here just so that I have a nice perfect circle and then I need you to cut that out in a ring shape ready to put our eggs onto it. Now you've cut out your ring for your wreath, I need you to get a hole puncher and hole punch a hole at the top so that we can hang this with string later on. The next step is the real fun one. You're going to decorate each of your eggs individually. Now I'm using felt tip pens, but if you have paint or glitter or anything you'd like to jazz them up, that would be amazing. So my theme on this egg is chocolate because we love a bit of chocolate at Easter. And I'm writing some little messages on there too. You can go as detailed as you like. You could do some big, bold patterns. You could do some messages, anything that you think will look great on your wreath. Once you've decorated all of your eggs, you'll want to stick your eggs around the wreath, all facing the same way so that it looks great. Um, you want to overlap each one a little bit as well because that can look good. So I found that a good idea is to glue straight onto the ring of the wreath rather than your egg as it's a little bit less messy. So that is where I would stick it there, avoiding the hole there at the top. Okay, so I have got one that I made earlier. So I'm going to add my last egg onto there and make sure that I stick that firmly down. And I'm leaving that gap at the top with the hole to tie string. The next step is to cut out a lovely Easter bunny out of card to pop out of our Easter wreath. Now I've laid down my card behind my wreath because that's where we're going to stick it. And you can use a pencil or a pen. I'm doing a nice big Easter bunny. But if you would like to do an Easter chick or a different design, that could look great too. For my Easter bunny, I'm going to add in some gorgeous eyes, big cartoon eyes. Next, I'm going to draw him a nose, a bit like a mushroom shape there. Give him a lovely big smile and some big, great whiskers there. He looks lovely and happy. Next, I'm going to add some more shape around his neck, finish him off so he's nice and round. And I'm going to grab my pens and give him a bit of colour. Now you might want to paint your Easter bunny, you might want to add some cool sequins, anything you like that will make him look great would be a good idea I think. You want to make sure that your rabbit is a nice big size so that you can definitely see him over the top of your eggs. Mm. 
neatening up there. Your next step will be to cut out your bunny to stick him on, but I'm looking at my bunny right now and I think I need to add a bit extra onto my chin. You won't see this, it's just going to be stuck on to the back of your wreath, so it's better to give him a bigger chin so that he has more surface of his face to sting, stick onto and that way he will be more secure. So we're going to cut out our bunny now. Try and do it as neatly as you can. Make sure you're drawing round, you're cutting round the bit that you've drawn. So next I am going to stick my Easter bunny onto my wreath. And a good idea I think is to turn your Easter wreath onto its back and then you can stick either side of the hole. You do not want to put glue over the hole because we want to tie that with string later. So I'm going to put some glue on either side of it. leaving that hole and we're going to stick our bunny's face firmly to the back of the wreath there this way it's popping out nicely there we go and as you can see you can still get your hand in there to tie some string Okay, so here we have our finished Easter wreath. You can hang it from your door like me or in your window so your neighbours can see your lovely Easter messages and um, enjoy the lovely bright colours. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see what you make.